Hi, I'm Courtney Harder with Case IH. In this video, we are going to talk about the winterizing process for a 2000 series early riser planter. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to clean the planter off with compressed air and water. Um, when you are doing this, you want to make sure to avoid directly spraying any electrical components, harnesses, connection points, your drive motors, etc. After we've done that, we are going to paint or cover any bare metal on the planter with a rust inhibitor. Uh, third, we are going to grease all the lube points on the planter as well as inflate our tires and make sure that our, uh, our closing arm pivot points on the row unit are properly lubricated. Next, we are going to remove all seed from our seed meters and take out the crop kits from each seed meter and um, store the crop kits in a safe place. If your planter has a speed tube, remove it and uh, make sure you store the belt in a safe place. Next we'll drain seed from the bulk fill seed tanks. Then we're going to blow out the inductor box with compressed air. And lastly, we want to make sure that we leave that bulk fill tank lid loose. Clean dust out of the areas of the toolbar that are used as a vacuum tube by removing the cover and uh, taking a shot back or compressed air to the inside of, that, uh, of those segments. For planters equipped with the liquid fertilizer system, uh, drain the liquid fertilizer out and flush the entire system with water. Then remove and clean the strainer as well as the orifice discs. Once that's done, fill the system with RV antifreeze using the calibration function on the Pro 700 to fill the system with antifreeze. Next, blow out your air compressor air filters and drain your air compressor tank. Next, we're going to remove the battery and clean out any debris from the battery compartment. Then we're going to charge the battery and store it in a warm place. When your planter is ready to be placed into storage, make sure all of your safety stops are installed. On the 2150 specifically, all of our cylinder stops are going to be placed on the outer cylinders of our center frame. On the 2150 and 2160, we can fully lower the cylinders onto the cylinder stops by placing the frame into storage mode. And this is in the remote valves frame tab. This completes the winterization process. For more information on any of the specific things we discussed in this video, reference our other videos or reference your operator's manual or talk to your local Case IH dealer.